previously on Monster Legends Adventure. I ended up getting this monster before the pass ended, Chuckle Muckle. I haven't actually leveled it up, but look at the level 1, it's so adorable. I mean, look at it. Um, I also leveled up this to level 47, I know it's not much, but we're making some progress here, okay? Anyways, we reached level 56. Let's go ahead and spend this, let's see what we're gonna get. We get 1.25k food, and we reached level 56, let's go. <laughs> and then finally, the boss Marvel. I think, why is it called that? I just noticed that, what the heck? Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another Monster Gems Adventure. So in today's video, we're back with episode 37. And let's see what we can accomplish in today's episode. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash like button, also subscribe, turn on post notifications. Anyways, so first of all, we have Zavibit Path. Um, it's in the mini maze and it is for owners and non-owners. Meaning that if you had this monster in the past, well, you have access to his path. And even if you didn't have him, which is me basically on this account. I never own this monster, but right now I can get him. Um, up to rank 5 if I wanted to. Of course, it's gonna cost me tons of maze coins, which you have to purchase with money. And I don't want to do that. So it's a whole um, different story. Whole long story. Uh, Witch Cat's equipment challenge. I don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, these cells. Honestly, here's the thing. I really want to do these. But the thing is, have you guys ever gotten those ads that it's like for thingies you know what i mean like you have to press next 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 uh, i'm pretty sure you guys have had it too let me know in the comments i feel like i'm not the only one but those ads are super annoying and that's why i don't do monster wood ads like it's just it takes at least a minute per ad every every ad basically it takes about a minute or so and it's just super super boring um anyways the reason i'm actually breeding these and hatching them is because of the race all right, these are super helpful. I recommend breeding these um, if you haven't already. A pterodactyl, so they're super easy. All you need to breed is basically a light. No, not light monster, what the heck. A thunder and a dark. Do I have a dark here? Thunder and dark. Oh, yeah, so you can do like thunder eagle or something with the Tyrona King. Or you can do like uh, a thunder mythic and a dark mythic. So you can do those. I'm gonna go ahead and start breeding. Normally, most of the times it gives you this, sometimes it gives you a different monster. Um, so these are super helpful, I recommend breeding them. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and um, extract one of them. So these are super helpful once again in races. Uh, you just wanna hatch them, breed them, and get their cells basically. Because when they're like rank up notes and stuff, you can help out your team and yourself um, with that. So surveys, there's gems and stuff. I have to do my war attacks, of course and um 440 million golds yeah so i've been spending my golds on upgrading monster lab i also upgraded this i'm pretty sure you guys have seen my last episode I upgraded the runes building up to level 10 it's done now um so this is all good i don't have to worry about runes building anymore i'm all set i did build a couple of habitats here mythic habitats i hatched this guy i'm sure you guys have it too it was a free to play monster if you don't have it then you'll get it in the future some somehow um, but Kaguya, I got him. But not just that, Chocomuckle. This was the free pass monster. And I got it, and I hatched it. I haven't fed it yet, but I have it. Um, That's Necro Ledge. I have an extra Mythic Capita here. I don't know why I have it, but I just have it in here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and quickly clear those two. Go to Habitats. Head over to Mythics. 3 million and just place it somewhere right there. Can I do it? Nope. Okay, that's, that's a great spot, I guess. I really wanted to place it like right in there, the empty spot. But um, I can't, unfortunately. I'll see what I can do now. Um, aside from that, also, if you haven't noticed, in the bottom right corner, it says coming soon. Um, you probably can't see it because of my face cam, but let me see if I could do something about that. Yeah, so you see where it says coming soon and it's like a cosmic arrow icon well i don't know what that actually means maybe they'll you know um maybe they'll give out like cosmic cells or something or cosmic monsters or something who knows uh but it says coming soon so we'll have to see what that is i'm gonna quickly head over to adventure map i think yeah why not let's head over to adventure map and we can continue on our journey here so 
We fought Lord of Atlantis here with three stars. We got three stars. It was easy peasy. If you guys have seen last episode, we did it. It was super, super nice. And now we have three Jennies. Three Jennies, super easy. I can literally just one tap all of them. And that's a victory. It, will it give me three stars? Yep, three stars. Um, that'll actually also count towards my XP leveling me up. So what am I? Oh, I was going to get that egg, but it's okay. I mean, that egg costs like 500k gold anyway, so... The funny thing is, I don't have that egg. Um, it is the light monster. Let me do spectacles and victory. So yeah, this is why I don't worry about adventure map too much because once you get a couple of mythics that are like maybe at least level 100, they could be level 80s or something as well. These things are going to be super easy for you. Like now, I, I could literally just short all of them even with one mythic literally just one mythic like you see the turn orders on top yeah they'll probably get a turn in like 20 turns or something something like that anyways it's gonna level me up to level 58 we reach level 58 what are we gonna get give me gems we were close so we are a level 57 now or 58 sorry and let me see what the offer is Yes, I'm enjoying the game. Ultra Blood, 195 gems, 91% off. No, this is not a good offer. You do not want that. It is not a mythic. For 195 gems, that legendary is not worth it. Trust me. I'll just do auto. Double show, a virus trick, and victory. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Use four points of stamina in a dungeons or adventure map. And that actually got us 10. Um, points towards the, what's it called? Legends Pass. Team Strength. And now we are fighting or facing three Pandoffs. Wild Pandoff. Oh, they're all white Pandoff. I was going to say. <laughs> Wild Pandoff, mini Pandoffs. Or just regular Pandoffs. So I'm going to charge up. Spectacles. Bam. That was so easy. <laughs> Goal completed. Defeat the... Fifth Island, mini boss. And that got us, I think, XP, right? It was either gold or XP. Got us something like that. So we got 1500 feet out of that. We're gonna get into the 46th one. There's three hazes. We'll just do auto. We finish it in like less than two seconds. That was pretty quick. 11 million XP. That's, a, that's what I don't like. I wish it was like. 500k or something is that? That would have been so much better. We got into the 47th one now. We're facing three Pyrox. They're both... All of them are level 33s. And then the second one, Jenny. Oh my gosh, this gives me some flashbacks. Um, in the past, these were super, super difficult for me. These were super, super difficult to beat. Like, I, I would get to this point where I defeat Jenny. And the only one that was left was this guy. And it was super difficult to defeat him. But now look at that. Just one tap. And they're dead. It's crazy. Because I used to feed up like a panda, a dragon beast, and another monster, right? Combine those three and try to fight off these things. And it was just super difficult. Because those monsters were like level 30s or 40s. Somewhere around there. It was super difficult for me to defeat them. Three duchess. Okay. Let's just do this and we'll do spectacle stars. I can't wait to battle um, the final, the boss, you know, the big boss. We already took down Lord of Atlantis, but this time it is an uncommon monster as the boss and we're gonna see how that goes. Oh, we get the egg, Pyrrhic egg. So you have some chances of getting his egg. I don't recommend spending the gem. Like, let's say if you don't get it, don't spend another gem trying to spend again to get it. You know what I mean? Don't do that. It's not good. The monster's not worth it. Not even for like five gems. It's not. It's really not. Maybe for collection purposes, but that's it. You can actually breed them. So you don't really have to do that. What are we gonna get? Mm, oh. Speed level one. And now finally, the level 50 path. So this one 
It is three bloom skip <laughs> bloom skips bloom skips, right? Three of them. They're all level 40s. Second one is two star uh, spark wedge. Sorry, both of them are rare, level 46. And then finally, 56. He has about 27,000 HP and 2006 strength. This used to be very difficult for me to beat back then, but now it's super easy. Carlos at halt. Bam. And now finally. <laughs> Watch this. Charge up, charge up. Look at this. One skill, that's that much damage. Another skill does that. <laughs> 72,000 to finish it off. I'm not surprised. I mean, it's a mythic versus an uncommon. But look, it, once you defeat the fifth island's boss, you get the egg for. I think his name is Zaijin or something. I don't even know. Uh, it's a fire rare monster. You get his egg by defeating that. And these are the real rewards. So 120k gold. Now the resources are getting better and better. I have zero attacks remaining now, but um, they're not even showing the bosses now. Once you get to this point, you can't even see the bosses. You know what I mean? Or maybe like you have to, I guess, attack one time to see it. Never mind. Look at that. Am I blind or something? Because I know I didn't see it the first time. I guess it was just like a visual bug or something. But then next is the mysteryness. I am excited to do that. That's going to be hopefully our next episode. Oh man, I am super excited. I'm super pumped. Uh, but yeah, choose your path. I haven't actually moved to Monster yet, but um, I recommend moving them. I mean, it's free cells even for those of you that never owned them. I think he was in like a breeding event before or something. And let's say you didn't have the monsters to read them. Well, now you can get it for free or get almost all of his cells enough to craft them. Um, for basically free, you just have to grind a little. You probably won't be able to get all of it, but you can get maybe at least half of it. And then next time it returns again, you can get the rest of it. You know what I mean? And that applies to every single one of these path monsters. So I'm going to quickly spin this. What are you going to get? Uh, I hope I get some coins. We get 1k gold. Okay. All right. So I'm going to see how far I can go. There is a day and 11 hours remaining. You could make it to like around these um, 20 cells and stuff like that. You should be able to actually get them. It gets a lot easier around there. I mean, it, it requires a lot of coins, but um, you get tons of cells for it and stuff. All right. Well, anyways, guys, so that's going to be pretty much it for today's Maltrigens uh, video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, smash like button, also subscribe, turn on notifications, share this with a friend or so, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.